So Paul mentioned this before. So we're seeing quite a lot of demand for this at the moment around using the, the Tippet call center or our, our cloud-based call center to set up temporary uh, call centers for people who are working from home who've traditionally been in the office and perhaps the existing PBX environment isn't really set up to cater for pushing all those staff home or you really want to go down the path of having a, a full mobile uh, call center capability. So what the Tippet Call Center allows you to do is essentially stand that queue up in the core of our network. All those calls are queued in the core of the network. They're then sent out to those endpoints as the agents become available. So that could be to an IP handset, it could be to the, the Business Connect soft client. It could also be out to a Liberate Mobile, uh, which is the scenario we'll talk through in a second. It could also just be using a, a redirect to a, an actual normal home phone, so bog old PCN home phone. So all those options are available for you to push contact center calls out to agents wherever they may be. Um, as I mentioned, all that queuing is up on the platform and depending on what flavor of this that you purchase, you sort of got the ability to queue 50 or up to 500 calls per queue. Um, and you can have as many queues as you like because the licensing is actually on the agent itself. So an agent can be a member of multiple queues. So you could have a, you know, a sales queue, a, service queue and a reception queue, for example, and you can have all the same people in all the same queues if you like, or different people in different queues. A lot of flexibility there, and the agents themselves can join on join those queues. Um, they also have access to, uh, so not only being able to control that through some of the clients themselves, but there is a call center, a web application, which you can see the image of that on the right, and that's available over the internet as well. So you don't need to be on the MPLS um, private network to access it these days. You can access that over the, um, the, the general internet. In conjunction with that, we can also incorporate uh, network call recording. So that's recording right out of the core of the platform. So even if those calls are pushing out to mobiles, we're able to capture those calls. Whereas that's generally been a bit of a struggle with recording platforms that are typically premise based because if the call goes direct to the mobile, it's not going anywhere near the premise and you're not able to capture that call. So our network based call recording can capture that call and record that onto the platform. Thanks, Tim. So what we want to do now is just run through a little bit of a demonstration around how that's going to look for an end user. Um, jump onto that. Thanks, Tim. So what we're just going to show here, uh, we've already shown you the Liberate app, but this is what the experience would look like for somebody who is running a virtual call center and using mobiles as the answer points for that call center. So we have deployed a, quite a number of these recently for customers where they're purely just using mobiles, Liberate and the Tippet call center to push out that call center capability out of the office for people working from home. So you can see in the app there up the top right, I've actually got an option there for call queues. So that, what that is going to allow me to do uh, when it taps into it, is actually allow me to control my queues so I can join and unjoin those queues. So if I was in more than one queue, I can obviously join and unjoin the queue as, a, as it requires me to, and I can set my availability. So sign in, make myself available, unavailable, wrap up, all of those sorts of things. So I can drive that all via the Liberate mobile client if I want, or alternatively, I can use that full-blown desktop client in conjunction with my mobile. So you've got the flexibility there to be able to do that. What we're just showing here is what happens from an incoming call point of view. So call from the contact center queues come into my mobile and you can see that it's actually pushing through the name of the queue. So Tippet being that name based CLI is fantastic in this scenario because I can identify that call is coming from the Plummet Lifts queue. So Plummet Lifts is our fictional little company we use for demos. So I'm getting that name based caller ID through to my mobile so I can tell that's a call from the queue. It's not you know, just a call from one of my mates that I'm going to answer in a different way. So I can answer that call appropriately. One of the other things you can have on this as well is a call whisper message coming through to alert you. So I'm at home running on mobiles. One of the things I might want to be able to do is to actually transfer that call to someone else, which is a function I can't do on a normal mobile. So the Liberate app pops up a little call window here and I can see I've got two options. One's transfer. So I'm going to transfer off to one of my colleagues because the call needs to go to them. So I press, press that transfer. I look up Tim. Tim's there in my directory. As soon as I press Tim, that's going to do a blind transfer across to Tim. So you can see now the call's gone and we'll drop back to the native dialer and you can see that the call's disappeared off my mobile device and Tim is now taking that call from whoever you know was coming through the call center queue. So Really great functionality there that you can't do on a normal mobile. 
So normal mobile with the call lens with me on the mobile, it's stuck with me. I can't do anything. I can conference, but that's about all I can do. So Liberate really gives you that powerful functionality to be able to not only send queue calls out to your agents, but allow your agents to then forward those calls onto somewhere else. So they might need to forward them on to you know, someone in accounts, someone in a technical specialist area, whatever that might be. You've got all that normal flexibility that you have with a normal uh, desk phone, but doing all that over the mobile. You can also do obviously a consultative transfer as well. So that's where I would you know, ring the person first and say, hey, Tim, I've got Paul on the phone for you and I'll just transfer the, them through. So you've got those both options as well. Thanks, Tim.